Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Island Good. Living, our wedding rags to Island Riches Challenge with our lost bride with lost memories, Nalui, who is actually over at her friend Makao's house today. Maoka, Ma ah, I, have, I have so many cousins with similar names that I always trip up. Makoa, there we go. But we are actually over at Makala, her best friend's house today to meet his family. Oh, this is so exciting. Exciting. We are here to meet his family and just kind of hang out on his island for a minute before we go around doing some odd jobs, trying to get our way up to the 1,000 simoleons we need to submit our technical degree to start signing up to work for the conservation career that Makoa has so encouraged us to join. Not like it's going to take much from me. Uh, and we're also getting a chance to meet his family as a result, which is so cool. Just just look at his little daughter Nani over here. Isn't she precious? She's just so cute and she is obviously skilled as all get out. Look at her. She is just masterfully creating this adorable cow plant sand sculpture at such a tender age. But I'm so excited guys. I'm so excited. We are so close. We are so close to being able to finally, finally, finally really see these reefs start blossoming. We are going to be finally a little bit closer to being able to see the island heal. We're going to be able to spend some time with the conservation job. I just need 900 more simoleons. <laughs> So we do need to do some work, but when we got here, I noticed a couple amazing things. One, the wild chickens are on the beach. They're so cute. And two, there's actually a seashell on this beach. There's a conch shell, a really ordinarily rare conch shell that I really, really, really want to put in our inventory, but we cannot. However, we can blow the conch. And there's also a moon snail shell, which we can put into our inventory and it has an emotional aura. So let's go grab that before someone else does. Cause this is amazing. I wonder if this is because like the whole island area is starting to do a little better. This is so cool. And we should stop being uncomfortable in a second. In fact, if she's cranky from having peed in a bush. Yay, we got a moon shell. Oh my gosh, okay, I wonder what its emotional aura is. And it was just lying here next to this conch shell. I wish we could pick that conch shell up, but we just are not allowed to. Ah, <sighs> ah, okay, where are they? Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. What happens when you complete the seashell collection? I really want to see. And the buried treasure. I can't wait until we can start going diving. <gasps> That's going to be so cool. Let's beachcomb for some more seashells. The moon snell shell is new. So I absolutely cannot sell it, but I can go ahead and sell the whirly flower frogs. Thank goodness for bathing in waterfalls, right? And then we might let her go ahead and swim around for a second just to get her mood up. Um, oh, she's really angry. You are not going to like kick over a trash can. You're going to get in the water and you're going to do a little bit of swimming. Get over here and float on your back and calm down. I don't care if you want to, you need to clear your head before you go and hang out with your friend Makoa, okay? Also, I realized something cute. Makoa invited her over. That's better. See, now she wants to hug somebody because she's feeling happier. We'll wait until she doesn't remember being pooped on by the seagull. And then we'll send her up. Look at that fish. Look at this fish. Oh, this is so exciting. But Makoa invited her over for the TV season premiere. But his house, which is so cool, by the way. I would live in this, like, immediately. Are you kidding me? His house does not actually happen to have um, a TV. So I think what they're going to do is they're actually going to go up to the observatory to go watch the TV up there when the time comes. Uh, that's my guess, is that we're going to go up to the observatory and watch the TV there. Look at how cute this little one is. And we'll do that together to celebrate the season premiere. Nani, where is you? Oh, there's your mom and dad. Liliani. Okay, actually, I think maybe that's like his sister or something. We'll have to find out. Oh, she's so cute. She's like, talk to Nani, talk to Nani. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, and let's go ahead. We'll get out of the water in just a second. Oh, this is so fun. Please don't hit us. I do want to blow that conch shell. 
There's another seashell here already. Oh my gosh. This is like the shore of seashells. This is so cool. What happens if you blow the conch shell? Let's go ahead and put this one in our inventory too. Wow. I guess if the beaches are cleaned up, then you just naturally find seashells. Oh my gosh. Is that another seashell? <gasps> The beaches are just sprinkled with seashells. How could I resist these? How could I resist? Like, I haven't seen them over at this side of the beach. I guess you just have to, like, make sure you're walking. Oh, there's another conch shell. Oh my gosh, why can I not put that in our inventory? It's so rare. It's so rare. Why can we not put it in our inventory? Is it because we're visiting? Is that why? Because we're technically on a residential lot? <gasps> Makoa, I might be friendly and funny with you because I also want to go ahead and I want to get Nalui the, um, the always welcome trait. So when, because I feel like that'd be island friendly, right? Where everybody is just like, hey, you're always welcome to just be here and like do whatever you need uh, at our house. That really feels like the island vibes. That was how it was growing up with my family, even though we didn't live on the islands whatsoever. But kind of that bit of the culture was always there. We were the, the family where, like, the kids who didn't have the nicest households would come and they would stay. And my parents would joke about having, like, suddenly we have nine kids when they only actually had four because we'd always have people over. Especially if they were, like, my siblings' friends who were from really rough houses. Then our house was kind of nice because, like, we didn't really cuss at all ever. <laughs> and my parents were pretty cool. And we didn't have a lot of extra food. That was the downside. No extra food, but you had a safe place to be. And I feel like that's a really cool part of the culture that I want to see with the always welcome. So I do want to get some aspiration points to make her always welcome. What happens if we blow on the conch though? <gasps> that's so cool. 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 Maybe we're like, what What happens if we blow on this? I just, I, I am so in love. I am so in love right now, you guys. Isn't this just the most amazing thing? Oh, that's so cool. Did we put it in our inventory? <gasps> we put it in our inventory. We have the rare conch. And there's another tulip shell just on the ground here. And now this guy is like rushing over to talk to us. Maybe he's actually a mermaid. This is so much fun. I see seashells up along the whole beach and this kid is like, this kid's just saying goodbye to us. Okay, so this man, I think I think we might, uh, Hayek, we might go ahead and introduce ourselves to him in just a second here. Look, there's another seashell already. Hello, Hayek. We'll do a little quick friendly introduction because I feel like maybe he responded to the conch shell. So let's actually jokingly Jared. ask him. Hey, are you a mermaid? Zamona's arrow. Just out oh, of curiosity. And then maybe so. funny. So, so. Oh, and he <laughs> left. Huh. I wonder if that was a little bit too pointed of a question. But this is so cool, guys. Okay, so now we already have another moon snell shell. Are we literally just going to like pace up and down the seashore for seashells? Oh, that's a bit of grass. And in, in like, like, look, there's more shells over here. This is so much fun. Okay, we do need to greet Makoa, but we'll be able to greet him when we go over to some of the other places. And I really want these seashells. I, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna jog over here. To the seashells! Seashells by the sea, so sea shore. There we go. All right, I think that's another tulip shell. Yeah, now we have two of those. <gasps> We're, oh my gosh, there's another seashell. What is happening? There's so many. What is happening? They're just literally piled on top of each other. That's amazing. Do you see how many we just found? Is this what happens when the island becomes healthier? Like you just literally start drowning in seashells? We might even be able to build the whole seashell co collection. I would be so happy. We almost have enough money to join the conservation career just based off of seashells by the seashore. I, 
I am nigh speechless with joy. And the water is so much clearer than it was before, isn't it? Okay, we've got to go ahead. Let's swim here. And we're going to go get that other conch. And blowing on the conch, that was just one of the most amazing things I've ever done. Oh, what's going on over here? <gasps> Look at all of the little turns. They're just relaxing. I bet we could do some nice fishing over in this corner. I didn't even notice how pretty this is before. I am so happy. This is beautiful. And it's it's part of my history and my life in a way that I've never got to see celebrated in such a pretty way. Ah, oh dear. Series emotional and crying over this again, but I can't help it. I'm just so happy. Let's go ahead and blow on this conch shell. We really are, we like literally are finding treasures of the island right now. And it's going to allow us to become the conservationist. This is so cool. Put in inventory. I had no idea. Like our friend Makoa lives in a nice neighborhood. Not that I'm complaining about where we live. There we go. Because we live in a great place too. We'll sell one of these. We have a new abalone shell that we are not selling because I'm going to collect all of them. I really don't want to sell these. I really don't want to sell that conch shell. If I can get away with not selling the the two conch shells, I want to kind of use... I, once we can, we're decorating our lot with the seashells, guys. Because this is just so amazing. I guess if we have three conch shells because of this one over here... I guess that would be okay to go ahead and think about selling at least one of them, especially because it would be the literal last piece to being able to join the conservation career. <gasps> More seashells already! Up and down the seashore. Oh, wow. There's not that many now. Oh, we need to grab our cooler. And also I need to clean up our dish. Sorry about that. Sorry about- oh, look at him! Taking care of the nani. Going off to cook something. Makoa, you're so cool. Meanwhile, we're swimming our way over. And let's blow on this conch shell. This seems like the most fitting way ever to be able to join the conservation career, doesn't it? Ah, uh, I feel like something special should happen when she does that. Like we summon up mermaids. And let's grab this. All right, so with all of those extra shells, including the extra conch shells, which I, I think I could convince myself maybe to think about parting with, maybe. And we've even got another whirly flower frog. I have a fun idea in mind of how we're gonna celebrate our whirly flower frogs in the future. All right, all of the extra seashells except for the conch. <laughs> I I guess I should go I just I they're very rare, okay? They're very rare and they're very pretty and we only need five more seashells to complete that collection. But you guys, we have done it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to set our money at 181. By that 1,000 samoles, we have just done the work we needed to in order to formally register our name with the island, in order to formally apply to the conservation career. Let's actually go ahead. I'm just going to glance at the odd jobs really fast. Just really fast. Because uh -huh. <laughs> I'm a little curious just what they look like before and after. So bonsai artist, paid beach cleaning volunteer work. Oh, we would we would definitely do that. Of course. A mahi mahi of my own, TV hookup for handiness level, sand sculpture judge, moving furniture. That's all adorable. And I think that we will definitely do the paid volunteer work if we have time after our new job. You guys ready for this? Because I'm ready for this. I'm ready to like celebrate in a big way because this is going to be amazing. Our brand new job as a conservationist. Also, the careers that have come with the new uh, pack include the diver career, which I think that 
when I can't remember what these new little icons are for. There's the diver career, the fisherman career, and the lifeguard career, but they're all like off lot careers where they're not active. And I love the active careers. Oh, and the manual labor one, I don't remember when that was added in. Huh. I think that maybe that was like a teen career that's now available. But look at how many there are, and we're gonna be a conservationist. You've watched every nature documentary out there. They're calling me out. And you know just how much the planet is in danger. From educating the public to performing research expeditions, you want to truly make a difference. I feel like this is just my heart. Oh my gosh. Change won't happen overnight, but keep at it and your hard work can lead to a thriving ecosystem. We can be an environment manager or a marine biologist. Eight to four, wildlife enthusiast. Boom. She's gonna work tomorrow. This is so exciting. Our wildlife enthusiast job, spread conservation awareness to other Sims. I can do that, no freaking problem. I am so happy right now, you guys. This is gonna be amazing. And let's go ahead and do the odd job. I can't believe we finally got the job. Work assignment, research. We will totally research some conservation. Oh my gosh, I will be in the paid beach cleaning work. Like we are on that as well. Comb the beach for trash three times. <gasps> we are so on top of this, you guys. This is so exciting. I think we need to go back and we need to celebrate with Makoa for sure. So let's go ahead. We're going to head over there. We'll glance along the way. The seashells. We'll glance along the way for more seashells now that we know where they tend to wash up. My mom would be beside herself. Oh, I totally forgot to share the special seashell video link with you guys, but I'll try to go back and do that because this is just so much fun. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and put that in our inventory. Uh -huh. Another tulip shell. Excellent, excellent. A whole bunch of them must have a wild chicken. Wild chicken. Excellent, excellent. Uh, oh, hello, person. Luini Akana. Oh, that is so nice. And... Who are you? Dwan Tala, just for the halibut. Uh, is Makoa actually home? He is, he's actually hanging out inside of his house. So let's go back over to his place. Uh, I do need to clean up this dish, but let's jog here. And this is, this is just fantastic. Let's actually wrap up the things that we need to do. Comb the beach for trash three times. And then research conservation at a PC to research conser conser conservation topics and gain logic skill. Okay. Well, I don't think that there's actually a computer here at Makoa's house. So I think what we might do is we'll finish off by going over to the conservation hut, the little conservation house area that we found. And we'll comb the beach for trash three times over here really quickly. And then we'll call over Makoa in just a second. We found cake? What? I think that's probably their kid. <laughs> Don't you guys think so? Don't you think that was like little Nani? There we go. We'll go ahead and clean that up. We'll sell the extra tulip shell. I'm keeping the extra conch shells because they're just way too cool. Beachcomb, search for trash. We need to do it twice more. So one here, a rainbow fish, <gasps> wow. It's already foul because it's washed up on shore, but we could try to use it as bait and we'll see what happens. And maybe we can actually watch the TV season premiere at the conservation spot. We found a salmon. Yes, our odd jobs rating has improved. We have a tip. Locals have been reaching out to the conservationists, praising the difference they're making. Everyone knows that there's only one volunteer who made an especially a big dent in the trash pickup around the island. Not only that, but she got it done so fast too. Uh, Nalui is a hero. Oh, I'm so happy, guys. This is fantastic. We'll have to clean up the trash that we've also left behind. We found a plumbing upgrade part. Let's go ahead and clean up this dish. And then let's go say hello to Makoa so we can be like, dude, thank you so freaking much. We'll spread conservation awareness to him and he'll love it. We'll brighten his day. And then let's see, let's go ahead and 
gossip about coworkers. We are coworkers now. Hug. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And then what else does she want to do? She wants to be funny. All right, where's he going? Into the water, of course. That just cracks me up. Of course you would want to do that. All right, and we're bored and we actually need a shower. So swimming in the water actually sounds like a good time. And she's actually starting to miss being a child of the ocean. Can we swim together? Because that would be really fun. We can discuss work. This is so cool. Oh, I love it. Okay, go ahead. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Because that's what... Oh, we want to... Oh, now we don't want to give him a hug. Now we just want to be funny. All right, well, let's go ahead. Let's do an inside joke. And then I think it'll be time. Since he might complain if we cook at his house. And shower at his house. I think it might be time to head over to either the observatory or the conservation. Lot. Chat with him. I don't know, let's see if we can... Okay, spread awareness. How close are we to being able... 250. We need 500 to be able to use, like, his house as though it was our own. Which I know he'd totally be cool about. Maybe if our relationship is high enough, he'd be cool with that? Become inspired. Search for vampire information on the computer. Get to know Makoa. Okay. I'm pretty happy about this. And you know what? Like, things are kind of busy at his house. His kid's around. There's a lot of other people. So let's just go ahead and we're going to head out. And we're going to go... I'm very excited about this. To the conservation hub. Let's do this. And we'll head over there with our friend Makoa. Because now we're co-workers. And then next time, we will start settling into the work that it will take to be a conservationist. I'm so excited. I have no idea what all it's going to entail or like what we get to do. But we'll start. Con oh, 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 hey! An uk uh, Pani Pi. Uh, uku. Uku Panipo, uh, who has a bit of an attitude, is actually praising us and saying congrats on the new job, which is really cool. So, okay, guys, we are here at the new conservation house. Uh, I will show you guys again on the gallery next time where we got it. It's perfect for beginning the new phase of our life with our new job and figuring out how we can really make a difference to the islands. So I'm really excited to see where our adventures will take us next time. If you guys could, do please leave a like to collect all of those fantastic seashells that made all of the difference for Nulani. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.